Now let's take a look at the music menu on the P3. Uh, what's really cool about the P3 is you can play MP3, FLAC, AAC, and OGG file formats. So pretty much anything you've got, it'll go ahead and play on here. Let's click albums. It's a real neat feature. Go ahead and cycle through the album artwork real quick on here. It's real nice looking also. Also, you click there, it changes the menu style for this. Cycle up and down real quick, or you can just tap the side to jump a page or two. And it's similar, except the uh, page is just bigger. Just grab the sidebar, cycle where you want it to cycle to. Let's go back to this. Pick something to listen to. Okay. And we go ahead and tap the top here. Remember, we got the built in speaker, so it goes ahead and plays music, and we can change the volume on the side there. If we tap the top of the screen there, we've got a menu here. We hit the little house, it takes us back to our home menu, and you can do something else if you want to. Go ahead and click uh, the music button, and it goes back to uh, the music screen also. And you click there, you got our auto, that's a speaker, headphones. Speaker and headphones if you want it on like that. We got the Bluetooth connection, I'll show you that in a minute. But that right there, it locks it and turns the screen off so we can save battery when we're out. Turn it back on. Just go ahead and tap the uh, the top lock button. It goes back. Let's take a look at the music menu. Another sound effect. Got this thing called Vibe Woofer. Select Vibe Woofer, turn it on. It shakes the whole unit. It's um, kind of like bass, it goes in and shakes it with the beat so it pulses with uh, the music you've got playing. Turn that off. You've also got AB there, um, which would be where you can go ahead and start and stop it at a certain spot if you want to. Let's plug it in real quick, I'll show you the DNSC. It's got to be plugged in to a speaker or headphones to do uh, DNSC. Alright. Now it's usually under auto. Now auto, um, you can go ahead and set your auto features using Emodio. You can set it to whatever it is you need it to be set to. If you're not using Emodio, then we can go ahead and uh, go to my DNSC. You can go to edit here. You're going to change your EQ, 3D and bass, concert hall, and your clarity. So you can go ahead and customize your setup there if you want to. All right, we've also got play mode, music play screen, play speed, add to alarm, uh, horizontal stroke, and then also add to playlist. Let's go to play speed. Now play speed, it's real neat. Um, it doesn't change the tone of the music at all. It just changes the speed so you don't lose anything. It's real nice if you're studying a foreign language or something. You can go ahead and slow it down if you didn't understand something. As you can hear that. It's real slow, or you can make it fast if you want to. And you notice it doesn't lose any tone when you're doing this, so uh, it doesn't make everything very high pitched or very low. It goes in and keeps the same. Get back to normal. Okay. Back on. Like I said, AB. You can go ahead and set it and have it repeat itself if you want it to. I'll show you how the Bluetooth connects on here. Let's unplug this. Yeah, this speaker is a Bluetooth speaker also. It's going to go ahead and connect real quick on its own. Now the video player on the P3 will play um, MPEG-4 videos, WMV9, iPod and PSP movies also, because it's got the uh, H.264 codec in it. So you can go ahead and play a lot of different kinds of movies in here. It's real neat. So you can see right there, the screen looks real nice. We go ahead and tap the top here. We got a drop down menu like we did before. Home, set our audio stuff, lock it, and turn on our Bluetooth. Okay. You can set your bookmarks on here also, so wherever it is you want to start from. We also got play speed here. Set it to slow. See, now it's playing very slowly. Let's make it a little bit quicker. 
turns to fast. And now you see it's playing really, really quickly. Let's turn it back to normal now. Okay. Now there's also the vibe woofer built in for the video. Just like with the music, uh, when you're playing with vibe woofer on, it goes ahead and it shakes the screen for you, or shakes the whole P3. It's kind of a neat feature. Turn vibe woofer off. Then with our display, the brightness control here. You got a wide range of what you can do with it. Make it real bright or real dark. Real easy to control, as you can see. As you see on the screen, um, the video looks really, really nice. Now let's take a look at the flash viewer on the P3. Now the flash viewer on here, um, it runs Flash 8. It also has uh, ActionScript 2.0. This is the metronome. It's built into the P3. And set your metronome. And go then ticks there. Set it to whatever it is you want to set to. Let's take a look at when you're watching like a flash movie. Okay. Go ahead and hit play while you're watching the movie going. You also have the play pause feature here. If you click uh, this button here, you can go ahead and cycle through, um, move over the side, move the side over, or up and down if uh, the whole image doesn't fill up the screen here.